I'm Jane. I love history and storytelling. My name is Bert, and I like the technical side of paranormal investigations. And with our good friend and psychic medium, Lauren Moss, providing remote guidance from Michigan. We gather lore from history and use modern science. The baby? To investigate the paranormal. Because you can't have one without the other. Unearthly. History and paranormal investigation. Our second season begins with our investigation of what is claimed to be the third most haunted hotel in the world, the Emily Morgan in San Antonio. With every turn on each floor we explored in this magnificently haunted hotel, we were met with undeniable paranormal encounters. We traveled southwest of San Antonio from Austin, originally to briefly escape our city for another during the summer. But what we discovered flowing through this city is a rich history as well as the spirits of those who lived it. When early Spanish explorers and missionaries encountered this land on June 13th of 1691, it was occupied by the Payaya people, who called the land Yana Guana, meaning refreshing waters, because their date of arrival coincided with the feast of St. Anthony of Padua. The land and the river flowing through it were renamed San Antonio. Less than 30 years later in 1718, the Misión San Antonio de Valero was built with the intent to educate indigenous people after they agreed to abandon their traditions for those of the Catholic Church. In 1836, this site became forever etched into Texas history when a 13-day siege by Santa Ana's army became a long-standing reminder to those who study it to always remember the Alamo. The Alamo, the Emily Morgan, and the Manger Hotel are all situated near one another in downtown San Antonio, creating a trifecta for paranormal activity. This magnificent neo-Gothic structure was originally constructed in 1924 to operate as a 50-bed hospital. Each floor of this building served a specific function in its time as San Antonio's medical arts building. The top floor housed the crematorium, while the floor below held surgical suites. Among the various levels of this building, one was also designated to be a mental health ward. In the mid-1970s, the building was converted into office space. It wasn't until 2012 that it became the 177-room hotel that the Emily Morgan is today. Emily Morgan! Alright, so we just got here. I'm gonna help Jane. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I'm just gonna watch Bert struggle right now. <laughs> I mean. We're doing the seven. Mm -hmm. Seven has a lot of activity, it. supposedly, so. Here we go. Hello, haunted floor. This way. Seven oh five. Seven oh six. One. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
This is huge. Oh, you. Baby. Alamo. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we're about to do our first initial walkthrough of the Emily Morgan Hotel. And a uh, crazy little thing already that happened when I was checking in. The moment I was about to pay for the room, uh, the whole system went down and she was like, this never happens. Skip the 13th floor. It has a heavy smell of being in a hospital. Like right when you walk out the doors. It's so strong. Oh my god. Well, you can your mask, you can smell it. Yeah. It's very immediate, very strong. So one of the things they're doing in the hotels right now during Corona is they're putting seals on the door after they clean them. So I'm kind of looking through here to see which ones have their seals broken and which ones don't. Uh -huh. That's so weird up here. <coughs> At like, it just, it, it, no, it, it's heavy and it smells like a hospital. Yeah. I love the mail shoot, by the way. I know. That is so cute. It's old school. Mm -hmm. The building that I lived in in Chicago had one of these. Oh, it's this one smells almost... completely different. Definitely no smell. That room's weird. You can't even see the other rooms for that door. So yeah, it's like every every level is kind of the same. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that try and weird. See if we'll go to the basement. Yeah. You want to just go on down to the basement? Yeah. Let's do it. My ankle just started hurting a little bit. That's one of your spoopy signs. <laughs> My right ankle. I haven't picked up anything other than just like... That 1208 felt really weird. I, I bet there's been a death or a suicide or something in that room. But then the 14th floor, I just felt like every time we turned around, someone was watching us. Oh. It's so cold when you go oh. down here. You get that hospital smell again when you walk in here. It's real quick, but. This news, I mean, she said they had a 
chairs move. Mm -hmm. Heard people crying. Yeah. When did they hear people crying? Uh, during the lockdown, when oh. it first happened. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm supposed to be looking for some stairs right now, and I just found them, so. Some stairs? Mm -hmm. That's why I was asking if they're not stairs we can go up and down. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. Whoa. Super thick air, right? Holy sh Cause somebody wanted me to find these stairs. Yeah, I was like, how'd you know these were here? I didn't. I have <laughs> never been here before. Yeah, we should definitely investigate in here. Yeah. Whew. My head hair is standing up. Not much static in here. like something just pushed you. That's what it felt like. That was weird. Yeah. Again, my right leg is just like, I feel like I injured it or something. Mm. That was weird. We should. Oh. oh, what? Adventure. I should have brought the human out to touch her. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it smells like cologne in here. Yeah, it does. Like men's cologne, really strong. I'm like kind of musky. Mm-hmm. Like an old man kind of prefer a cologne. Mm-hmm. That's completely gone when you get here. That was really weird. A voice off that way. I'm just saying if the seals are on these doors. That one's broken. Yeah, there's people right here. Their seals are broken. Mm -hmm. I said the seals right there are broken, so there's probably, it could have been somebody in a room, but man, it sounded like they're in the hallway. here too is like um, doors opening and closing, water faucets being turned on and turned off. What is Fourth floor, definitely. We need to come back here. Fourth? Yeah, something cold just went by my leg. Like it, it just kind of like brushed by my leg like that. Is 
there anybody here? Please make a noise. They don't want to yet. They're waiting for later. Our home. Okay. Well, they both took, all of them went on. Like all of them in the cubby right here. Oh, y'all need to quit. <laughs> y'all need to stop. They both? Is this the up or the down? We're going up. Oh, okay. Ugh. My ears. That's never a good song. Man. That's an active sign. It's not ringing, it's not cupping, it's like an inner ear infection, you know, like when you were little and you'd get water in your ear. Like trying to pop or something? No, it's like it hurts, but I know there's nothing wrong with my ear. That's fine now. It was just right when we got on the elevator, it was like unbearable. Back to headquarters. That's so cool. Named after the famed Texas history heroine who, according to lore, inspired the 1944 song Yellow Rose of Texas by Roy Rogers. Her given name was Emily DeZavala West. She was born a free woman of color in New Haven, Connecticut. Little is known of Emily's life until she was contracted to work as an indentured servant for James Morgan in Morgan's Point, Texas, for one year starting in 1835. While working at the Morgan's Point Hotel as a maid, Emily and several others were taken by Santa Anna's army on April 16th of 1836. The Battle of San Jacinto was waged five days later and lasting a mere 18 minutes before the Texas Army won. According to a tale Sam Houston would tell, Santa Anna had been caught unprepared for the battle because he was having sex with Emily at the time. This is historically inaccurate, but was circulated as truth when the journal of William Belaert, an Englishman and contemporary of Houston's, who recorded the story of Emily and Santa Anna as told by Sam Houston, was published in 1956. As we arrive back at the hotel to start our investigation, a man comes from behind the counter and approaches, asking to ride up with us. <laughs> Little did we know what horrific details this man was about to drop on us. He told us that just one week prior to our stay, a man committed suicide on the 11th floor and he asked us to check it out. Without any time for questions, he gets off on his floor and we are left astonished. So we start filming. So, unofficially, we were on the elevator with someone that doesn't work here. He told us that um, someone committed suicide. I'm not going to disclose the room that we're in, but we're going to go by the room and see if we can find him or talk to him, maybe. I don't know. Got this going? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. You got the key? Yes. Okay. Let's see about my pack of Fanny. Let's do this. I think instead of calling it a fanny pack, I'm going to start calling it a paranormal pack. <laughs> paranormal party So, pack. Um, we were told that between 10 and 11 seems to be a very, very active time around here. So we are going to go up to the 14th floor, just start there and work our way through. There you are. So we decided to do the 14th floor first because that was the old uh, crematorium. And when you go up to the 14th floor, it just, it smells like a hospital. It smells plasticky, it smells weird, it smells like too much cleaning supplies. Yeah, so hmm? There's something in the corner right there. Wait, let me run real quick. Holy shit. Yeah, it was, it came with you while you walked in. And then it, it stayed in the corner. 
Let me walk out and see if it follows me. It did. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Don't leave me. Is it with me still? It's not in the corner. It was like on the camera and then like you're like holding it there and then it jumped off. I, I'm guessing they like electronics here. Yeah, like, they know what it is. That was really, really weird. It was really weird. It looked like it was just like sprawled in the corner. Oh my God. Well, that's a hell of a way to start off the night. And those elevators have been creep creeping me out all yeah. day. So is the plan just to kind of scan these hallways and see if we pick up anything else? This is the 14th floor, right? Yeah, this is the 14th. Okay. Let me walk in front of you and just make sure nothing's like attached to me or... Okay. I'm gonna shoot back at you. It's so weird, it's, oh, there it goes, it finally mapped you. It found me? Yeah, it was like, it wasn't even mapping you for a while. Okay, you're fine, okay. it's mapping you. Okay. That was just so weird. It was really weird. I just wanna make sure there's no attachments. Okay, let's try. I don't know, this main area was giving me the willies. It's just like right when you walk out, it smells like it, you know? Mm-hmm. It smells like a hospital. Yeah. It's like the like the hospital gowns, like those paper ones, you know? Like that's... Ooh, these lights started flickering. Oh, they are flickering. I'm not really Wait, picking. Sh I don't know if that was you or not. I thought I heard something walking, but... Is it mapping me? <laughs> yeah, it's got you. <laughs> Alright. And nobody's with me? Nope. Even better. Oh, here's the stair access. Nice. Do you want to go out there? Yep. It looks like handprints on the wall right there. I think it's just dirty wall. But... Spooky stairs. Spooky stairs. Got anything, Bert Mesa? No. I don't know why it's. Is it not working? Well, it's not mapping you right now. It's weird. Am I dead? <laughs> oh. Oh, you can. You can go up. Oh, you can? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, nope, it's alarmed up here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Damn. Can't go up there. It's got an emergency exit. But she does go up, though. Keep going. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Keep going. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Keep going. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. It was really loud. It was really loud. See all the way down there. Ooh, oh, that gives me the willies. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal with ghosts, I can't deal with heights. That's why <laughs> I am short. <laughs> right here. 12 was the operating room. Oh, okay, the operating the, floor. Yeah, the operating floor. <laughs> it's 
so weird. Which, speaking of the operating floor, Bert Mesa, tell them what we found out online about the pool. Uh, so the, the lining of the pool, and we probably can see it from here, yeah. is actually made of the operating tables, the stainless steel from the operating tables. Oh my god, so hot. So that's why they look like that. <laughs> huh. Here we go. Oh, a little stairway. Did you hear something go, I don't know. So my nose were here. Oh, I thought I heard it again. Oh, that's outside. Give it a second. this hotel for COVID-19. You can see those stickers on the door. That lets you know that it's been sanitized by the hotel staff and um, so that nobody's been in it until you go in it. So we've been kind of trying to be mindful of that as we're walking around, like seeing what rooms have stickers and what don't, so we know about how quiet to be on every floor. But this floor appears to be wide open so far. I see lots of doors with stickers. Let's check out the 11th and then we'll elevator go down to the floor. Get the spray box. Yeah. You want to just stairs it? Yeah, let's stairs it. Actually, let's go. Elevator it? Yeah. Okay. That was some weird shit earlier. So. I know. I want to see if we can get it again. We should try to get in that elevator if we can. This one right here. I love these little lights up top that. No, that's the one. That's the one we needed. You're listening to us. That was right as I pressed the button. They've been, oh, okay. All right, are you in here again? No, he's not up there. It's not even like doing what it did with you before, like, it mapped you when I was walking in with you, and then it just jumped off you. And it's not even trying to map you right now because you're too close. So, I mean, I wasn't any farther away from you. That's really weird. Yeah. rush of air coming out of this room. Like, yeah. that's so weird. That sucks, man. It really sucks. Jesus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what got you there, but I'm so sorry. My ear just popped. door was bent. Did you see that? Yeah, you could tell they had a break in there. Yeah. Well, well that's weird. It's 11 11. I swear I just saw like somebody standing right. Oh, it's cold right here. She yeah. feels a less over there. Oh my god. It is cold. It's so cold right here. It literally looked like he was just going like this. 
教えてたぐらい。そうだった。Oh, you can see your goosebumps, yeah. Yeah, dude. Hey, is that you? It was like I was standing. It's cold all around me. Hey, make a noise if you can hear me. I want to talk to you. It was so ice cold. Let me see if I can pick up anything. I it's, forgot I had the EMF reader. I still feel it. Well, it's, yeah, it's like right here. It's like a point. Oh. Oh, wow. You can hear the water in that room running. It just jumped. You can hear the water. I thought I heard that drip. And again, this is a room that nobody's in because it's got the sicker seal on it, and we can hear the water running inside. And it's freezing cold in this corner. I don't feel the. I don't feel that cold anymore. It's right, like, and feel, it's zero. Get like right here. Yep, that's where it is. Point three, point six. Point eight. I can't see the screen. There we go. It's point eight. Holy point shit. It was like right when I passed this door, mm -hmm. I looked right here and he was standing there facing that way. That's crazy. And that's weird. It's 11 11. <laughs> Ugh. Point zero right now. Tap my shoulder. Talk it was like it was like. Talk to him. I'm sorry. We just need to talk to you, but if we need to find you help, we can try. We just want to see if you're here. Find any evidence of anything left behind. Are you getting choked up? I just did. Your did you eyes are tearing up. I can see it. That was It's. Weird. <clears throat> the ratings are spiking. It went up to a four. That was so weird. It was like a, that was a fingertip. There's no way that was not a fingertip. What's up, man? Call his name. It's at a zero right now. What's that? Mm hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Right when I said his name. Right over where you saw him. What? How could that be? Are you here? I don't see how that could have been a, a glitch. Let's go over there and get a reading. Where to two? Hey. If you can, oh, we're at a four. Thank you. We're at a three. Hey. Let's do a little thing. If you can stand next to this green light. These numbers will go up and down, and the closer you are to this green light, the higher these numbers you'll get. See if you can stand close to this green light. We're at a one, we're at a zero, one, two, three, four, five, What if I go back over to the corner where you were? We're at a three, we're at a five. Three, okay. Can you make it? We're at a seven. We're at a 1.1, 1.2. Good, good. Can you make it go back up to a one? We're at a nine. We're at an eight, seven. Okay. Hey, make it go down to a three. Can you make it go down to a three? Go the other way with it. You're getting there. 
I can't believe right when I said his name, mm -hmm. something appeared on the f Hey, okay, good, you're at a four. Now you're at a zero, good. That was really good, thank you. Okay, it's, a, it's gone between a four and a six. And I'm getting it the whole time, so. And I'm getting it the whole time, so. And I'm getting it the whole time, so. Do you know where you are? Make the number go up for yes and down for no. It's oscillating between a five and a three. Now we're at four. Still nothing on your end? Mm -mm. If this is it, can you tell us if you're a male? Oh, or oh, 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 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.3. Going back and forth between an eight and a nine. Okay. So is this, of, is this go up if this is yes? Mm hmm. It, oh, wait, it's back and forth between a seven, an eight, and nine. Man. My back is hurting. Now we're at a one. Oh, wow. It's high. We're going back and forth between eight and one, and the temperature's down to 78. We were at 85 when we started out. Yeah, it was like 85, 86. Mm-hmm. We're back at a zero now. Still 78 degrees. Okay. I swear I just saw a little white. They're all white, or what I've seen are white. Little clouds, it's... It was over here where we just were. Mm -hmm. It looks small. I just saw it again. They're tapping into you at this location. Yeah, it was like right here, but I can't. Temperature's still going down at 77. Whoa, really? Mm -hmm. It was 85 when we got up here at first. This whole hotel has been the same. I swear I just heard something move in that room. Really? Mm-hmm, but I'm, I'm good. Oh. I didn't see it that time. It just jumped up to an eight. It's been at zero right until again? we, uh-huh. I'm standing right here and it's at an eight. I see, the camera. Do you want me to try to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. Hey. That's better, isn't it? All right, do you want to talk to me? Make this number go up if you want to talk to me. We're at an eight right now. Make this number go up if you want to talk. It's okay if you don't. If you want me to leave, can you make the number go down? Make the number go down and I'll leave. It's just staying the same. It's been jumping all over the place and it's just staying. Let's go get the spare box. Okay. Let's go back to headquarters real quick. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have a night vision going for our headquarters. See if we capture any anomalies. Um, we're going up to the 11th floor. We were getting some good intelligent responses earlier with the EMF detector, like getting the spirit to raise the, the levels up and down. So we're going to go do a spirit box session up there. And I'm going to be ear deprived so we don't, if there's any guests staying on the floor, we don't bother them. And um, I'm not going to be hearing the questions Bert's asking. It's kind of a spin on sensory deprivation, but obviously my eyes aren't going to be covered because we're going to be roaming the hotel. So, right. Look at you with all the gadgets. I'm right so gadgety. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, it got really chilled out right when you turned the light on. Oh. Hello. <laughs> so we're going up, yeah. back to the 11th floor. That's creepy girl. Just minutes after leaving, we begin to capture light anomalies in the corner of our room. We debunk these as not being dust because of the speed and drastic changes in flight patterns, as well as not being bugs because of how they disappear and reappear. One anomaly is so bright, when zoomed in, you can see a trail behind it. That's like really dark in that corner. Can I start sitting down? Yeah, okay. yeah, whatever you feel is comfortable. Don't let him know you don't speak Spanish because there's a lot of a man coming through consistently in Spanish. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Don't let him know you don't speak Spanish. All right. I've got the full spectrum going in case any, anything Someone comes up. Like... Wow. Okay. I'm sorry I don't know Spanish. I'm here. You're here? Why, why, why are you here? A number of us are. How many? Appointment? Did you miss your appointment? What What was so important about it? I felt something. Tell me more. What did you feel? Fazil? I think that means easy in Spanish. Traitor? Oh. A recipe. Why did you choose the Emily Morgan? Well, first of all, is this here that I'm talking to? What is your name? I'm here. What? Oh my god. I am too. Um, uh, why, uh, tell me, are you in pain? Are you happy now? Talk to me, man. I'm going to change the rate real quick. You can't hear me, can you? <sighs> Tell me, who's with you? May? A girl. Or did you want to be back with her? 
Is that why you wanted to leave? Who's May? The woman's voice. She should run. Who? Who should run? Keep talking. Safely. Mind your own business. I'm sorry I aggravated you. I'm I am just here to help you. Mind your own business. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Please I'm sorry do. to just What? It's on the furniture. I'm sorry we disturbed you. Please it's go. It's hot all over my back. Hold That's a turn. person standing with me. It said that's a person standing with me. Oh, I'm shaking right now. Can you hear me, Jane? She can't even hear me. New Horizon? Is this a new chapter for you? Are you trying to... Divorce. Are you trying to start over? The doors and the windows. Whoa. It is active here. Wait. What's your last name? Go away. Okay. Let's, let's cut it. He doesn't want to. He, he was answering me directly. That was ridiculous. I cannot believe that. That was, mind your own business was. I was like, who's here with you? And you're like, May. I was like, what? Yeah. It. No. He, he got pissed off because I was talking about May and asking why. I thought he wanted to be with her again. He got divorced from her. Yeah, and he was... He was feeling like I got. I thought he wanted to be back with her. I thought maybe she passed away and he wanted to take mm -hmm. his own life. He's and mad. He said, mind your business. Yeah. Like, that came through so... Uh, yeah. That, I mean, it was as clear as... I can't believe he was talking, like... Was it like in responding intelligently? Oh, was the yeah. thing about the furniture, like it's on the furniture. Um, that was, I was, he was trying to give me too much information, I think. Um, and I was telling him like, I'm sorry that we disturbed you. You know, that was after he was like, mind your business. So I think after I apologized about bringing up May, he wanted to tell me more about Check it out for uh, like for him, and even the front desk girl. She was like, "Show, show us what you find." Mm -hmm. Like, they know this place is haunted. Mm -hmm. We can move down. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing out here? I do. I just oh, want to see if anybody's out here. Up. 
I know, right? Right as we come out. Look at that. That's crazy when you think about it. Literally. Those are operating tables. Oh. Not to go full bagans here, but quite possible people died on top of those metal slabs. Oh, yeah. Quite. <laughs> Most likely. Quite possible. You can see. You really, like, literally. You can see like, where little... they put it together, like. That's uh, so wild. That's why I'm shooting down there so much, like. Wow. That is just it's like they wanted this place to be haunted, I swear. Exactly! Like, you, you do shit like that if you want a hotel full of demons. You want a hotel full of demons? <laughs> That's how you get a hotel full of demons. So we want to be by the metal then, right? I'm kind of feeling this table right here. I think since we're just sitting still, I'm going to try the sensory deprivation thing. Okay. All right. All right, Jane's yeah. first sensory deprivation. Hey, all right, let me turn it up. Just got a hey already. And again, she cannot hear me. Hello. Who, who's out here with us? Here to learn. Why are you here? I belong here. What? What is your name? What is your name? Keep talking to me, please. Whatever you just asked, asked again. What is your name? Something with a D. David Davis. Can you tell me Soledad. your name? Soledad. Please tell us your name. Are you with anybody else? No. Why are you here? I'm what? Mexican. You are Mexican. So am I. Can you speak Spanish? I don't like it. Hi. Somebody else talking to me now? Check it. Who's with you? There are plenty. Are you... We're here to just visit. We're not here to... It take, takes two. We're not taking anything from you. So we're just here to ask you questions. You're wise. Yeah. We definitely don't want to do anything bad. We're just here to ask questions. I don't like that. Yeah, so... Can you answer some questions for me? We don't want to take anything from you. I don't want to say that last thing that come through. It said smells like f***ies. Oh, wow. No need to be vulgar. We're just here to talk. Are you cool? Yep. Okay. What is your name? Thank you. Hold me. What is your name? Tell well, me your name. Tell me your name first. David. What do you want? What the hell do you want? Whoa. I'm cold. I'm yeah, like, I, I just got static all over me. Um, I just want to talk, David. We're not here to take you away from where you are. We just want to talk. What is your... What? I'm your family. David. We're the same. Yes, we're brown. We're brothers. Do you have any family around you? 
you son of a bitch. Oh. Napoleon? You're very calm. You're in trouble. Don't follow us. We're not gonna follow Let you. Let me out. You're not trapped. You can go. You are not locked here. Is that okay? Okay. Whoa. Hey. Who am I talking to now? No one. No one? No somebody. Give me your name. Where is this going? We're trying to figure out if we need to... We just want to know how many people are here. Count to a thousand. Count to a thousand. The world. Do you want us to leave? No. Go how, ahead. How old are you? How old are you? I'm the one that's here. How old are you? Or what is your name? Tell me about yourself. I'm mean. Are you? Well, you can't hurt us. Plenty. Run away. You can't hurt us. Go away. No. It's time to turn. Yeah. Away. Yeah. Okay. Get okay. out. All right. We'll stop talking to you, but please be nice. No. Oh, whoa. All right. Baby. All right. Awesome. You heard me. That last go was freaky. Wow. I can't believe how talkative they are. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, that was... That was, man... You okay? Yeah, Soledad that came through? Yeah. She was doing a lot of the talking, but she was getting sassy with... Like, it was kind of her and, like, a male voice. And, like, the male voice was like, Ugh, and Soledad's like, I just want to talk. Man. This investigation left more of an imprint on us than any other we've encountered so far. Oh, just to tap my shoulder. Okay. It was like, it was like. Okay. We leave with so many answers, but are left with even more questions than when we started. Investigating this place could take an eternity, and the spirits here seem to be patiently waiting it through for anyone who does want to make contact. <laughs>